my name is Leslie Boss, and here's another timely tip from Rutgers Nursery. Today we're going to talk about insects and the beneficial insects in, in your garden. The first one I'd like to talk about are beneficial nematodes. Uh, the nematode itself is microscopic. You really can't see it with the naked eye, but it is a wonderful beneficial uh, insect to be putting into your garden beds. Uh, beneficial nematodes actually kill and destroy up to 230 different kinds of destruction in you know, insects that will damage your, your garden. Uh, the best thing to do with the beneficial nematodes after you've purchased them is to mix them with water and actually either water them or spray them into your mulch or your garden soil. Uh, beneficial nematodes not only improve the soil, but they, they are working under the ground where you can't see them and uh, they are a wonderful insect to actually add into your garden. The next insect I'd like to talk about are ladybugs. Uh, we sell ladybugs here at Buckers Nursery uh, and they are specifically uh, out to eat aphids. They love to eat aphids, uh, especially on roses. Um, and the best way to release the aphids are basically at night. Uh, if you let them go during the daytime, they will tend to fly away, away from the garden that you'd like to take care of in, you know, your insects from. But if you let them go at night, uh, basically they will go right away to the area of the plant that is filled with bugs that they typically eat. Again, aphids being their number one choice of, of diet per, per se. The next insect is, uh, and everybody loves these, are praying mantids. Um, we sell them here at Rutgers Nursery also, and this is a praying mantis egg casing. Uh, oftentimes we will get a nursery stock that has these on their branches and every employee here knows not to touch them. Uh, they are wonderful insects and this egg casing uh, will release up to 200 praying mantids. When they come out they look exactly like an adult praying mantid but only much smaller, basically the size of my fingernail. They are extremely interesting insects, and they go after a host of different uh, di destruction insects also, such as aphids. Um, they go after flea be beetles, which are very common on eggplants. Uh, those would be the little holes that you see on your eggplants. They will take care of them also. Again, a very, very beneficial bug to have in your garden. Uh, the thing about the praying mantid egg, though, is that you will never know if after you put it in your garden whether or not the casing has released the eggs because the casing itself does not change after the praying mantids are hatched. Uh, the praying mantids actually come through these layers of what appears to be like a styrofoam. So uh, the only thing that you'll know is that while you're gardening you will suddenly see a praying mantid looking up at you because their necks are very intricate and they are fascinating animals, but they do cause a little bit of a surprise while, while you're gardening. Lastly, while not an insect or beneficial insect itself, this is a very beneficial product into your garden. This is a container of earthworm castings. Basically, uh, earthworm castings are the remnants of the food that earthworms have eaten. Uh, earthworms are an incredible, great insect or bug in your garden. They eat an enormous amount of uh, compost and then they release the compost after they've eaten it, thereby uh, putting into the soil uh, a very good nu nutrient. When you add this into your soil, uh, it takes about 30 days to improve the soil. Uh, what, uh, it's very fine uh, and it has no smell as you would think it would, uh, but what it does is it loosens the soil, it improves it, it adds organic material. Uh, the one thing that it is extremely good for is houseplants. A lot of times houseplants, because they're in a you know, a sheltered environment, their soil gets a little bit tired out because they're not being fertilized enough or, and their soil can get somewhat heavy. Adding earthworm, uh, compo uh, earthworm castings 
will absolutely give the house plant a rejuvenation and uh, it's a great product uh, all, all together, not only for house plants, but your pat patio plants and in, in your garden. So there are some beneficial insects. Uh, not all insects are damaging. Uh, so uh, I would uh, su strongly su suggest adding one or more to, to your garden. Thank you.